All right, guys, we're going to have a quick chat about what to wear on the water when paddleboarding. So we've got loads of options. Uh, first of all, if it's summertime, shorts, t-shirt, buoyancy aid, jobs are good in, that will be absolutely fine. Um, if it's a bit cooler, that's where it becomes more of a challenge. What do you wear? Do you wear a jacket? Do you wear layers? Or do you wear a wetsuit? Okay, so it really depends on what sort of paddling you're doing. Um, if we're paddling out here and it's super calm, um, I might suggest layering up if it's a bit cold, yeah? If you fall in, it's not the end of the world. Um, you're not far from, from the car, you're not far from home, perhaps you just get wet. In an ideal world, maybe you'd wear a dry suit, but it becomes super expensive then. So as, a, um, as another option, really, thermal layers, something thin, a base layer, a fleecy layer, um, and then some kind of windproof, waterproof layer, uh, like this, is a really good option. Okay, it just keeps you, um, keeps you nice and warm, keeps the wind off. Um, and that's generally for flat water paddling when you're planning on not falling in, um, a warmer option than wearing a wetsuit. Okay, because a wetsuit isn't very thick insulation, is it? Compared to, if you look at that, it's what, four mil thick, the summer wetsuit's even thinner. Um, compared to like loads of this sort of stuff, which traps loads and loads of air, okay, you're gonna stay much, much warmer, um, trapping loads of air um, and, and wearing layers rather than wearing a wetsuit. Um, the difference comes when you think that actually this session is going to be more about falling in, getting wet, okay? Or there's high chance of that happening. So that's kind of like paddling around the coast perhaps, okay, where you know you might have to wade out right from the beginning. Uh, you might have to walk out through some waves, you might have to um, to yeah, you well, you might have the chance of falling in and um, and getting wet a little bit more, okay? Um, and that's where we start to look at wetsuits. So um, Winter wetsuit generally has fleece, fleece layers, uh, fleecy lining, sorry. Um, it will be blind stitched and glued, which means that it doesn't leak um, on the seams. And that's really important. So buying a super cheap wetsuit from the service station, um, as soon as you jump in the water, all the water comes in through the seams. You do need to spend a little bit on a wetsuit. Uh, 100 pound will buy you a summer suit, maybe a bit less. Um, and 150, maybe 200 will buy you a really good winter suit now. Okay, so you don't have to spend the earth, but you do have to spend a little bit on a, on a decent bit of kit that will keep you warm. Um, in terms of looking after it, after you get back from the beach or from, the, from paddling, um, give it a little rinse in some clean water, okay? And that will just keep it, uh, keep, keep it living a little bit longer. Don't store it in the sun, um, hang it up in the shade, and when it's done, put it, put it away, okay? Um, that'll keep it keep it nice and fresh for you.